Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk to you about how to shoot birds in flight using the Sony a7R4 camera with the 200 to 600 millimeter zoom lens. Right guys, so as I said at the start of the video, in this one I want to talk to you about how to shoot birds in flight using the Sony a7R4 camera with the 200 to 600 millimeter zoom lens from Sony, which is the camera and the lens that I have with me here. And to do that, I've come out to this beautiful location out in Hatta, which is where the Wadi, which is the river, forms this beautiful lake. And it's got these trees and reeds and things that grow around the edges of the lake. And it's the perfect location for wading birds. It's the perfect location to shoot birds in flight as they fly around, as they take off and as they land next to the water. Now, when it comes to shooting birds in flight with the A7R4 camera, the first thing you need to consider is the fact that the A7R4 is not specifically designed for shooting birds in flight. The Sony A1 and the Sony A9 are going to be easier to shoot birds in flight because they were specifically designed for shooting action, fast moving subjects and things like that. They've got a faster burst rate, a faster shutter speed and a faster an autofocus system. So it's going to be easier to shoot birds in flight using those cameras. But that being said, I've had some amazing results with the a7R4 in combination with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens by following a couple of simple steps. One of the things that I really like about the a7R4 camera is that it's got a very, very high megapixel sensor of 61 megapixels. And that's awesome because it allows me to crop in and post and get even closer to my subjects. When you're shooting things like wildlife and birds, obviously those animals are gonna be generally quite far away from the camera, especially with birds. And the birds are really shy and they don't like it when you get close to the camera. So as soon as you come up close to the bird, they tend to fly away. Now with the A7R4 camera, you have the ability to, if I'm shooting, for example, at 600 millimeters on the two to 600 millimeter lens, I have the ability to crop in in post to two times or even three times and get even closer to those birds and still have a nice good quality sharp and usable image with a lot of detail and that's not something that you can do with many of the other cameras so that for me is one of the biggest plus points and advantages of shooting with the a7r4 camera when it comes to wildlife now when it comes to shooting birds in flight there are generally three scenarios that i'm looking at the first one is a bird that is about to take off and you get some really interesting and creative shots as that bird opens up his feathers and he starts to ruffle his feathers before he actually takes off the second would be a bird that's traveling from left to right or right to left across the frame at a low level so he's flying across the water at a low level or slightly higher up in the sky and the third scenario would be birds that are flying and then coming down to land and then they put out the open start to close the wings and put out the brakes so they can slow down before they land and those are generally the three scenarios that i'd be looking at now let's jump in and talk about my camera settings specifically and i'll put these up on the screen as well first thing is that i always shoot in manual mode i don't shoot in auto because it gives me a lot more control in manual i use continuous autofocus for birds in flight and, and any moving subjects so afc continuous autofocus when it comes to shutter speed, I, like, I use a nice fast shutter speed of 2500th of a second. I sometimes bump that up to even faster for smaller, faster birds. Or slow it down slightly, maybe to 2000th of a second for slower birds. Or when I'm shooting in a condition of low light. Aperture, I set to the widest possible aperture. On the 200 to 600 millimeter lens, it's going to be... 5.6 to 6.3 the ISO I keep to auto the um, drive mode I set to continuous drive high plus so that I've got the fastest possible drive shutter speed that, that I can have for the birds in flight the animal eye and face detection I generally keep to on now you can switch it off or you can keep it on i don't think it makes much of a difference i find that when it's switched on the animal eye does actually pick up some of the slower moving birds when they're walking around on the edges of the water or bigger birds but generally it's very difficult to 
for the autofocus system to pick up the eye of a bird that's that's flying with the a7r4 and then when it comes to my autofocus area i generally set that to wide now i've played around with quite a few different autofocus areas but i find that wide for birds in flight gives me the greatest chance of success it's very difficult to focus on a moving subject when you're using a spot focus area with wide the camera focuses across a very large area across the entire area of the screen and it prioritizes the front and center what is even the whatever is in the front and center but it also prioritizes any movement within that frame so as a default i generally use wide for birds in flight and i also don't use tracking i found that wide with tracking is not as successful as just using wide alone i do use tracking for larger animals bigger birds and things like that that are moving quite slowly across the frame from from left to right or right to left but for birds in flight i generally just use wide then the other thing that you need to keep in mind is when you're shooting birds in flight you're going to be holding the camera handheld it's not going to be on a tripod so you need to practice to keep the camera nice and steady so i like to keep the camera nice and close to my body where i've got more control and where you can pan from left to right or right to left in a nice continuous and steady motion Then the other consideration is when you're shooting birds of flight is that you need to plan your your photographs you need to plan your shots and need to think about where the bird's going to be and i'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the video but for now let's jump in and see what we can find now there's quite a few egrets and red wattle lapwings and i want to see whether i can get some of these birds as they take off so i've got the focus area set to wide and the shutter speed set to about 2500th of a second as a start, let's see how we go. lapwing right next to the car via let's see whether we can photograph this bird as he takes off Okay guys, so as I said earlier, sometimes you need to plan your shots to make life a little bit easier for yourself. When it comes to shooting birds and birds in flight in particular, you've got to be really, really patient to get the shot. But if you're able to plan the shot, it does make life a little bit easier. So for example, I've got this beautiful Indian roller that I'm trying to shoot. Now, I've been watching his patterns and his behavior. And what he's been doing is he's been landing on that lamppost behind me over there. And then he flies across and he lands on those flag posts over there and then from there he goes back and lands on the roof behind me over there and then back to the the lamppost over there so by watching his behavior and by studying that bird i'm able to see a pattern and i can plan my shots accordingly so what i'm going to do now is try and set up my camera and aim it towards the lamppost over there get it ready so that when he does land on that lamppost again i'm ready to take the shot as he takes off and flies away so let's have a look There's an egret about 50 meters away from me, down next to the water's edge. 
and I want to see whether I can get that egret at the moment he's just standing in one of the dead branches next to the water's edge and I want to see if I can get him as he hopefully flies off let's have a look so it's focusing nicely on the subject which is the bird and as he flies off it will continue to focus on that bird let's have a look Awesome. So that's it from my side. Hope you guys found value in this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And always remember that there is no such thing as one size fits all when it comes to photography or bird photography. You need to play around with your camera settings. You need to play around with your camera, get to understand your camera and see what works best for you. That being said, I hope you find value in this video. I hope that I've managed to steer you a little bit towards the right direction. If you did enjoy this video and you found value, please give it a like. Please drop a comment in the section below and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you do get notified about any future content that i do put out that's it from my side guys hope you're keeping well and i'll see you in the next one take care